Today we're going to talk about the top five streaming hard questions. Hey, 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 how's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. By the end of the video, we'll know the answer to the question, is my PC good enough for live streaming? Can I live stream without a PC? What mic should I get? Do I need a webcam? If yes, what workup do I need? And do I need anything else? So grab your cuppa, jump on the walk train, let's do it. I've been a lot around Discord servers and Reddit posts, and one of the most common question was, is my PC good enough for live streaming? Look, if you're only streaming for fun or you're not entirely sure if the streaming career is for you, what I would highly recommend is a PC that has at least a GTX 1650 or a 1660 Super that's good enough, really good enough for a smooth live stream, 1080p. And also, if you want to make clips with online tools, it's perfect. But if you've been streaming for a while, you want to take it to the next level, or you want to start editing your streams, or make content outside gaming, in order to grow faster, what I would highly recommend is at least an RTX 20 series, even better, a 30 series, because you will have enough raw power, not just to live stream and gaming, but as well using editing programs like DaVinci Resolve, like Premiere Pro, and take the content to the next level. Can I live stream without a PC? Short answer is yes. Nowadays, you can go live with your smartphone, you can go live with your iPad, with your Xbox, PlayStation 5, but you won't have as much raw power to include cameras, mics, and editing your content. So if you're looking to make a career out of live streaming yes you do need a computer just even to make clips just making discoverable content in particular and I, I'm, I'm gonna say that again in particular if you're streaming on twitch because twitch is awesome because of the community but it has a very very low discoverability so you need to make content one of the platforms like YouTube Shorts, like TikToks, or completely different topic videos. Like for example, YouTube videos like I'm doing right now. So you definitely, definitely need a PC. For the question, what mic should I get? Now, the two most common mics that you can find with streamers are, are the Condenser or Dynamic. The two main difference are that the Condenser it's usually they better mics because they pick up better frequencies but they have a normally directional pattern what it means is you pick up sounds from the front but as well all around the mic so it will pick up a lot your keyboard your mouse and everything else that you have on the on your desk with the dynamic microphone they have a different pattern that is called carotide what it means is you only pick up the sounds from the front of the microphone. So it will sound a lot better out of the box because it won't pick up any sound from the back of the mic. Tip, if you live in a humid climate like I do, you may want to pick up a mic like this, which is dynamic, because it keeps up a lot better with the times on humid climates. Once you pick up which type of mic you want, we're gonna go to the next step, which is USB versus XLR mics. They're very different, and there is a big misconception that XLR mics are very, very expensive, but they don't have to be. Main difference is USB mic is plug and play. You just plug it into the back of your computer in a USB port, and it's ready to go. With the XLR mic, most of the times you need a separate device, like for example here, I got the Web XLR that translates the sound from the XLR port to the USB that goes inside the computer. 
Now with condenser microphones, XLR, you may need a cloud lifter, which is basically phantom power because they're very, very quiet. It needs to have a device that boosts the mic. The Wave XLR it does have phantom power. There are a lot of other companies that do similar products. Wave XLR, it's my choice because I have got other, other products. And one thing that they do very well is working together with each other. Pro tip with any mic, you may want to get also, I don't know if you can see it here, but I got a boom arm, which clamps to the desk. I got a low profile, but there are others that are high profile that comes up like this. And they very, very good to have because they get the mic as close as possible to your mouth to avoid other sounds going through the mic. I've had quite a few USB mics, but my favorite one out of all was the Elgato Wave 3. Yes, I know, cliche. I have quite a few Elgato products. The main reason why I chose the Wave 3 over the others was because it sounded better outside the box. And also, it comes with a software that is called Wavelink which is very, very good. If you know what that is and you wanna know more, slap it down in the comments and I will do a full tutorial. And that's the same reason why I went with the Wave XLR afterwards, because you can access the same software. Now, uh, you may see that I've got a XLR mic. This is a dynamic microphone. The good thing about dynamic microphones with XLR, they do not need phantom power. Wave XLR has it, I'm not using it, but they do not need it. The only XLR mics that need phantom power are the condenser one. The mic that you see here, which is my mic of choice, is the Audio Technica AT2040, dynamic. And I've had it for quite a few months, and I'm very, 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 very happy with this. Do I need the webcam? The short answer is no, but you do want to have a webcam because it humanizes the stream. What I mean by that is um, viewers, what I mean by that viewers will associate your stream with you. Now, before you roast me in the comments, I know that's coming. I didn't say point the camera at your face like I'm doing it right now. I fully understand that some people don't feel comfortable to show their face on camera for a, a million reasons, but there is such a thing as hand cam. What I mean by that is most of the people who live stream, they live stream games, right? So why not point the camera at your hands that are on your mouse and keyboard, on your phone? on your controller that you're showing what you're doing so you still have a webcam but it shows what you're doing instead of your face so it keeps you anonymous which is fair enough right what camera should i get look if you're just starting out any 1080p cameras of amazon will do trust me because that's how i started if you want to take the content to the next level and you've been streaming for a while, there are two choices. You can either go with USB camera or DSLR camera. USB camera, plug and play. You just plug in your USB cable and you're ready to go. With DSLR camera, you need a capture card for cameras like Camlink, that are either media or from directly from Amazon as well. You can find cheap ones that can work. They, they're not the best, but they still work. And another one of the main differences is the webcams, um, they are cheaper than the DSLR cameras, but they don't look as good. DSLR is for someone that is actually investing in live streaming content creation. And not all the DSLR cameras can live stream or can record videos 
without a time limit. So if, if you want to go down this road, my biggest recommendation is have a look around, check the specs, make sure that the camera is good for what you're trying to do. So my personal choice for webcam is the camera that you're watching me from right now, the Elgato face cam. Looks good, eh? <laughs> um, I know I promise Elgato is not aware that I'm doing this video, nor pay me to say anything. Actually, I wouldn't mind. So Elgato, if you're watching, you know where to find me. <laughs> and the reason why I say that the Elgato face cam is the best webcam for 1080p live streaming or recording is because it looks a bit better out of the box same as the wave 3 but as well it comes with the software that lets you change the resolution it lets you change how much light goes in the camera and so on if you want me to do a full video slap a comment down below i'll be happy to do it but for DSLR, what I'm going to recommend is my next purchase. And yes, I will buy at Black Friday, <laughs> obviously. Um, Black Friday, that is for a reason, right? So the next camera, so my next camera, and that's the one that I recommend because it's the best camera on the market because it's fairly affordable. Um, it's not a webcam, but it's affordable and it still delivers great quality content. And you can even use it for live streaming. And that's a Sony ZV-10. Do you need anything else related to hardware for your live stream? That is actually one tip that I can give you is make sure that you use filters for both your camera and your mic. With your camera, sometimes with cameras like the Elgato face cam that I'm recording from right now, they have a software that comes with it. But even within programs like OBS, like Exploit, you can change how much light goes inside the camera at one point. You can change the noise, you can change the color temperature that is coming in the camera as well. And Regarding your mics, your mics will sound a lot better if you apply to the mic filters. And the major one will be a condenser. What it does is it compresses your voice. So it's not going to go too high or too low. And it always stays in between. Um, it always stays in between center parameters then you wanna use the limiter because yes, the compressor works very well, but usually has a few seconds to respond. So if you add the limiter on top of it, what it, mean, what it means is the limiter, you set your compressor at 10, but there is always a, a second to one and a half seconds where the compressor doesn't get there. You have the limiter and you're basically telling the mic that it can't go more than 10. So it's not gonna go over and above that. It's not just for your mic, it's well for your game or your game chat. You may wanna add a limiter. You have people that scream in the mic. <laughs> you wanna use noise reduction or noise suppression. Some noise suppression are better than others. Others make your stream lag or your mic lag. So just keep that in mind but some kind of noise reduction is always recommended, mostly if you have a condenser mic, because that should eliminate most of the noise coming from your desk. And that's very, very important. And other things that you wanna have a look at online are VST. VST makes the mic sounds better, more human. And the last thing that you may want to have a look at is a DSA. Yes, I'm guilty as well of that, but sometimes my 
S. <laughs> I'm very pronounced and I'm trying to find at the moment a good DSer. So if you have any suggestion, pop them down below. If this content has helped you in any way, don't forget to pop the like button. It helps out the channel. It helps to spread this video to more people so I can help more people. Otherwise, guys, as usual, don't forget to join us up on our stream on the Wogos at Gaming. The link is down below. And all the products that I mentioned, at least the one that I owned, the one that I owned, they will be down in my setup, kit.co slash Z. And also don't forget to join us up on Discord. The link is down below. Until next time, happy creating.